right, here we are at October 20th. We had a cold snap here. We got down to almost frost, almost freezing. It was cold yesterday. I sat on a little ladder stand yesterday. A little 10 foot ladder stand right amongst the deer. Big fat doe walked out. She figured out I was there and never would come where I could shoot her. I was using a crossbow too. That's what I want to talk about. Two things today. I got a cramp in my leg yesterday. Okay, so like I'm 71 years old, I'm in good shape, but I can't do what I used to do. When I was younger, I could do kip-ups, I could do any kind of exercises, one-hand push-ups, all that kind of stuff, uh, climb up, any kind of tree, but I can't do it anymore. I got a cramp in my leg. Had trouble getting out of my ladder stand, even though a ladder stand is not uh, considered a very dangerous stand. And I'm searching for a way that I can continue to hunt. I'm hunting in an urban spot, a rather large urban spot where rifles are not allowed. And uh, it's a kind of an overgrown area. It was an old field, actually. And it's probably been 30 or 40 years since it was a field. And it's grown up with grass about that tall, some trees, some live oak trees. It's, it's, it's a bushy area. It's the kind of area that deer really like. We saw, I saw quite a few deer. All right, I'm gonna shoot the first shot is the only one that counts. That's my new way of looking at it. I'm at uh, 15 yards, and the place where I'm hunting now, I was this close to that doe yesterday, 15 yards. It might have even been closer. But I was kind of sticking out like a sore thumb up there on the side of that, that little tree. And she got up, and then I don't, think she, I don't think she ever saw me. She never knew what was going on, but she did know something was up. She ran back, started blowing a little bit, blew a little bit more, and just wandered on off. First shot's the only one that counts. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can hunt in there. Let's see if I can make this work. That's probably a heart shot. I like hunting on the ground. One thing, I'm not going to hurt myself much if I fall down from this height right here. My footprint is small here also. Half the size of a man standing up. You're mobile. You can move around. I can sit like this. But I'm trying to figure out a way to relieve the pressure on my legs. I can just sit on the ground, but I'll show you what I've come up with, and I'm going to be working on this. Okay, stretch the back. Okay, this is what I've got. I got a pot I'm sitting on. It's mostly for the height, but this relieves a, quite a bit of my weight off of my leg. I'd say 80% of it, quite comfortable. This leg, this left leg is the one that gets, when I just sit on the ground like this, I'm actually sitting on my leg and it goes to sleep. I love shooting in from this position right here. My footprint is very low. I can move around and get in different places and be, I, there's a lot of uh, oak trees out there, live oak trees that are hanging over like this. I could sit up under one of those and be pretty stealthy in there and these deer moving around in this thick area. But this pot is uh, actually better than I thought it would be. I wouldn't mind if it was a couple of inches taller. It's certainly strong enough to relieve the pressure on my leg quite a bit. Let's see if I can do this again. I'll take that. We'll go up there and look at it in a minute. It's actually better than I thought. 
So I was thinking of building a box. I do a lot of woodworking. A little box that would be approximately this high, or I think I'd like one or two inches higher. And the little box would have a, a little handle on it that I could pull it in and out. And I'd have it where I could hang it on my belt. And I could have stuff in there that I need, you know, my uh, scent, my uh, whatever I would need to have with me. I think this is going to help. Actually better than I thought, have this little... Another thing it would do also, it would get you up off wet ground a little bit. Okay, problem I had yesterday, trying to hunt with a crossbow. I've got an Excalibur crossbow. It's a very precision instrument. It's more precision than the bow and arrow. But the problem I'm having with it is the sight that's supplied with it. In low light conditions, I can't see anything. I can't see the crosshairs. I can't see the animal. I have trouble finding it. But I don't have that problem with this, with a bow and arrow. You can, you got both eyes wide open and you can see what you're shooting at. It gets darker and darker and you can almost shoot in the dark with a bow and arrow. I'm thinking this might be the better weapon for this thick place that I'm hunting and I'm very comfortable with it. I've hunted with it for many years. So basically what I'm trying to come up with is a system too bad I'm not hunting ducks. That I can move around in this uh, area be relatively hidden beginning to hurt my leg just a little bit. All I had to do was just adjust. Two inches higher here on this pot would work or the little box that I'm going to build. Actually, if where I'm hunting, there's a lot of grass, like I'd say some of it's that tall. And the deer get out in there. Yesterday when I was coming out from my ladder stand, there was one coming through that grass, and I walked right up on the deer. He just threw his tail up and hopped away. Wasn't very alarmed at all. But I can see sitting in some of that uh, tall grass like this, you know, in some of those areas where they move around. They move around, and uh, it's a rich food source for them. There's uh, live oak trees. There's not many acres this year, but... And they pick around, there's honeysuckle in there, different things like that. There's actually some uh, kudzu in some of those areas in there. So that's what I'm, that turkey over there, take a picture of that turkey. He's checking out my target. Well, he was checking out those arrows, he was thinking about pecking it. Now he's thinking about flying up on that hay bale. Get on up there, boy. You want to fly on up there? Or you want to come over here? There she is. Okay. Okay, <laughs> Alright, so when I, I'm going to uh, go up there, we're going to go up there and show you the group that I got from the pot. And, uh, and then I'm going to talk about a little bit of what's going on in the news. Elections coming up real soon. Oh, by the way, this is uh, October the 19th, the 20th, I'm in Georgia, South Georgia, the state of the United States of America, and, uh, and I'm uh, making this video from that time frame. Now, I don't know when these things, I don't know if anybody's even going to watch this video. I don't get many hits, but the thing about this YouTube and this internet thing, these things will be up there. Way past probably when I'm long gone from here. There might be somebody in a thousand years looking at this. Maybe they can use it for a, a school project or something like that. Go back and look at what the people back in 2022 were up to. Okay, so we're going to go look at this uh, 
grouping here and see if any deer got killed. Okay, I'll tell you, this is it right here. First shot, I think, was this one. That's a little low. That might not have been a good kill. This is a heart shot, double lung shot. Mm, not sure about that one. I'm not happy with that. That'll kill the deer. It'll be a bad tracking job. That'll kill the deer. Okay. So, I'm trying to come up with something that I can get out and hunt without the rigmarole of putting up a stand. I'm not getting in a tree stand now because I get hurt. It seems like just getting in a ladder stand. It's a lot of trouble going out here and dragging a ladder stand around and all that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to come up with a way. Now I sat on the ground uh, the other day in a rather expensive hunting chair called a Chama chair. In the neighborhood of $300. I feel better on that pot right there, to be honest with you. And my footprint is lower. I'm lower to the ground. You can get a pot like that in your kitchen, or you can go to the flea market and probably pick up a nice, that one's got nice pot there, right there. But I think a little box would even be nicer, something that you could carry some supplies in. All right, now, the reason for my videos is... I like to do archery, but what I really want to talk about is my purpose is to declare the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, otherwise known as Jesus Christ. In the Holy Bible, the words of Yeshua, he said to declare his name before men. Yeshua is Jesus. He is, in my belief, the Lord of the universe. He has the power of life and death in his grasp. He said, no one takes my life from me. I give my life. As he talking about it, the crucifixion. I give my life for you and I can take it back again. He has the power of life and death. This is what I believe. This is what the Bible says. I can't prove it to you and I'm not going to try to prove it to you because it's not about proving. If he could prove it, then everybody would have to believe it. It's, he doesn't want to prove it. He wants you to have faith in him. He wants you to trust him like a child trusts their parents. The parents in our society unfortunately tell their little children that Santa Claus is going to come down the chimney and bring them presents magically the children you know at some point figure out that that's not true they've been lied to okay but they believe it because their parents told it he wants us to believe him that's also known as faith i would like you if you're interested in this to go to the bible and study up on the new testament matthew mark luke and john Read the words of Jesus and see if that resonates in your brain. And you may be able to achieve, through Him giving it to you, eternal life. This is what the promise is. I'd like you to check it out if, it's, if it uh, sounds interesting to you. If it doesn't sound interesting to you, then you've probably gotten off of this message already. All right, this is Gardner Israel coming to you from the uh, deer target. And uh, I'm going to go sit on my pot. And I will hopefully talk to you again.